without the two others So let's get together and see what we can uncover Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Away, <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Shh. 
Jeez. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? Then you think it's all a coincidence. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Juness, we can't leave Yosuke alone. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away?
Yeah. It'll be just you and me. Don't worry. I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. This is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. You guys! Why'd you come back? I get it! You're the ones behind this! You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here... Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? I can't say for sure either. Doesn't it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life li What? Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. See? So it is you guys! For the last time, it's not us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, 
I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here? Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back! It's dangerous when that happens! Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it! You better stop right now! I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it! I've about had it with you! Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying... You might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts! What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Whoa! What the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Hey, what should we do? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy! Heh, <laughs> figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. 
Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? No! Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki-senpais. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Huh? Uh... Listen, some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works.
Sensei. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say Persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? And that's what I thought! This is really something! Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the... Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Not again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this... Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places! I... I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos... Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? I... never had the chance to say it. Is that... Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. 
I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? A shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Out of the way! How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Oh. 
し I'm gonna crush you with everything I got! Out of the way! Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You... You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. yourself I knew it wasn't lying but I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it you're me and I'm you when you get down to it all of this is me This 
is my persona. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? You'll... Keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. 
Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! What's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! <laughs> I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. Hmm? Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. 
The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. From this night forth, 
You are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. That is fine for now. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. 
The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Achie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know. All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. She might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see. Um, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec.
try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chie, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Wow, that looks like it hurts. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you! We know you're in there. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah, you'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Who 
Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> <laughs>